is great to be here with all of you guys. I wish that you were in this room with us, but alas, Cantor and I will lead you in some singing. You see the words on your screen. I hope you get up and dance. If you're wearing jammies or jeans or your Rosh Hashanah clothes, it does not matter. We just want you to have fun with us. So sing along. Sing a long song, come sing along. Sing a long song with me. It'll make you smile if you sing for a while. Come sing a long song with me. Again. Everybody now sing a long song, come sing along. Sing a long song with me. It'll make you smile if you sing for a while. Come sing a long song with me. First verse. Rosh Hashanah celebrates the birthday of the world. Happy birthday. Apples and honey to sweeten the year for every boy and girl. No so matter how you sing, identify, sing, sing a long song, song. Come, come sing, sing along. along. Sing a long song with me. It'll make you smile if you sing for a while. It's a sing-along song with me. Rosh Hashanah starts the year. Hear the shofar blow. <laughs> Telling us that we should act the best way that we know. So Ever let's all sing, sing a long song. song. Come sing, sing along. along. Sing a long song with me. If you sing for a while, come sing a long song with me. Big ending. It'll make you smile if you sing for a while. Everyone. Come sing a long song with me. With you. who? Me. Wow. Ho. Yes, it is Rosh Hashanah time. We are going to move to the next screen because it is time. For apples dipped in honey, which Yum. is delicious. Yum. So are apples dipped in caramel, apples dipped oh. in chocolate, oh. apples in peanut butter, oh. unless you have an allergy. Right. Anyone, any other, aller I mean, apple uh, things? Well, they, they, what, what's that red stuff that they dip them in? Uh, candy. Oh, candied apple. You never go wrong with candy. Guys, Cesar, anything that you like with apples? Like apples. Apples, just likes the apples. Brian, oh, anything? Apples, oh, and apples and marshmallows. marshmallows. Oh, Apple brown Betty. Apple brown Betty. Oh yes. my gosh. So much. Mm. Let's dip them in some honey for mm. the sweet new year. Uh oh. Apples dipped in honey. Let Rosh Hashanah. Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah. A good year to you. Yes. A sweet new year to you. And you. A good new year to you. And all of us. A sweet new year to you. Here we go. Apples dipped in honey for a shoshana. Apples dipped in honey for a shoshana. In Hebrew. Tapuchim udvash le-roshoshana. Again. Tapuchim udvash. Happy year, sweet year. Happy year. Super sweet. Again. Wow. Yum. Oh my goodness. This is another one where yeah. we really keep singing about oh the apples gosh. and honey. I don't know where we're at, Cantor. That doesn't matter. I got the key in my brain. Here we go. We are going to sing this, Julie Silver Gem. I love this. Apples and honey. Need an apple, apple, apple. Don't forget to have some honey, honey, honey. Here we go. Apples and honey. It might sound funny, but you can make the new year sweet and sunny. Doing what? Eating apples and honey. What? Honey. Didn't hear you. Honey. Who are you going to ask? Ah, oh, you could ask the rabbi, or the cantor, or her, or the rabbi, or even Brian. Or Brian. Apples and honey. <laughs> may sound funny. Oh, Mark 
Mike and Mark we could ask next. Make the New Year sweet and sunny. Eating Eat apples oh, and honey, honey, honey. We start, start the new year. The shofar we hear. And every year it's in the month of Tishrei. Everybody sing apples, apples and honey. Oh. <laughs> You're going to eat apples, apples and honey. With a lion and a bunny. Apples and honey. Apples and honey. Big ending. Apples and what? Apples and apples. And caramel, uh, chocolate, peanut butter, peanut butter, candy, um, candy, um, marshmallows, marshmallows, brown Betty, and brown Betty and honey. honey. Big ending. <laughs> Big ending. What do we have next? There's so much to be thankful for that we're going to skip this verse and go here. So join with me if you know how to read. And if you don't know how to read, you can just listen to us read. A day, a week, a month passes. Winter and spring, summer and fall. A year begins and a year ends. But God's plan for the world is forever and ever. Never ending. Over and over and over again. Wow. Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Ooh. It's a time to begin again. To grow and to change to wish and to hope mm. for good days ahead. You know, Cantor, it's a time to celebrate as one family yes. together, as a community in this special place. It's, it's like a quiet, joyful way, but I'd like to say that it's loud also, an exciting way. And I just want to sing this song right now so much. Me too. Yes. Lishana Tova. Woo! Woo! We say it every, every year. Every year we say it. Lishana Tova. Happy New Year, everyone. We have a round color. It's round. Sometimes it's full of raisins. Unless you pick them out. Sweet like coming New Year. It tastes like Shana Tova. Here we go. Let's Shana Tova. We say it every New Year. Let's Shana Tova. Happy New Year, everyone. Get a big bowl full of honey. A plate full of apples to dip. Yum, Whoa. yum. After the honey is on the apple, eat it fast or it will drip. It will wait drip. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Drip? Where did my... Oh, Your pick my fell. My pick drip. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the, the outtakes. So we, we say it every new year. Let's shine a tova. Happy new year. <laughs> happy, happy, happy new year, everyone. Yes. Happy, 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 happy new, new year, year, everyone. Yes, there is a time for playing and a time for learning. There's a time for laughing, like we are right now, and yes. a time for crying. It is true. There's a time for talking, and there's a time for praying. Rosh Hashanah is a time for praying, a time to feel close to God. So we are going to stand up. If you're at home, I ask you to stand up. It's not really because when you stand up, you're closer to God in real life because we know God is everywhere and inside all of us, but it's to show that this is an important prayer. So we are going to use the words for the Baruch Hu, and the cantor and I are going to face the ark and you can join along with us. Where are you going? I don't know. I think I think I'm going to the ark. Oh. Barehu et Adonai Hamivorach Baruch Adonai Hamivorach Leolam Baruch. So we say. Blessed are you, God, we praise you, and we uh, are ready to be seated. You know, although I always try to be good, sometimes I don't know if this is a song or not, but I'm going to read it. I don't know what I should. Sometimes I do things that are bad, and sometimes I do things that make people I care about sad. Well, it's interesting because sometimes I do things that are strange. Mm. Yep. So on the new year, I try to change. I try to make a brand new start by being kind with all my heart. Oh. Um, going to my friends one by one 
saying I'm sorry for everything I've done. Yeah, you know, after I've done this, I, let, I begin to cheer. I, I'm like, woohoo, what a <laughs> wonderful way to start a new year. Amen. So, you know, I want to encourage all of you guys to go to people who you think, you know, you not only think that you maybe didn't do the best ways of acting with them, but people who also bring out the best ways of how you are with them and say, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We and, are going to join. And if I've done anything that has hurt your feelings, would you please forgive me? I not only would forgive you, I think we get a clean slate every single year. That's a good We're thing. We're going to talk about that more in Yom Kippur. Good. Because we are right now at Rosh Hashanah. And... Uh, Right now, we're just celebrating that we're alive. Amen. So we are going to join in the words. We can just stay seated oh, because good. we were anyway prior. So we are going to join in the words of the Shema. So I'm going to invite everyone to take a deep breath and to close your eyes if you want. Cover your eyes. You can uh, do anything that makes you feel like you're really concentrating so we can join in these words. Shema Yisrael Adonai And now we're going to sing the English of the Vea Hafta. Scooch on over, I think. Scooch yeah? which way? Scooch to me, maybe. Okay. Which I feel so far from you. Yeah, that's true. It's nice. I love being near you. Yes. And you love Adonai. I certainly do. Love Adonai, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And these words which I command you on this day shall be in your heart, shall be in Teach them faithfully unto your children. Teach them faithfully unto your children. Speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise. Find them for a sign upon your hand. That they may be a symbol between your eyes. Write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates. And upon your gates. Back to teach them faithfully. Teach them faithfully unto your children. Speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise, and when you rise, and when you rise. You know, I love freedom. I love being free to do a lot of different things. I love being free to sing in the shower. I love being free to go to the grocery store. I love being free to love who I love, to make my family look like how I want it to. What do you like being free about? Oh, for me, I love the freedom to make choices that are my choices alone. I love the freedom to spend quality time with my family and my kids. And I love the freedom to know that even if I make a mistake that God forgives me mm -hmm. and that I can start again and, and, and feel this inner sense, not just an outer sense, but an inner sense of being free. Mm. So guys, what do you like about being free? Because I, I hear some of you saying, oh, I, if I was really free, I wouldn't have to go to school. Mm. But the fact is, is being free also is getting an education, right? And being smart oh, and studying what you want to start. are not allowed to go to school. Yeah. Some countries, girls aren't allowed to go to school, only boys are. Some countries, you only could study what they ask you to study. That's right. Some countries, the teachers are not even treated the way they should be. So there's so much that we are grateful for to be free. 
And the Jewish people make us, they really do make us, every time we get together for prayer, sing this song of our freedom. So we remember, we might be free, but as long as there's people in the world that are not free, we have to keep working. We have to get better at it. That's right. And that song is Mi Chamocha. So we are going to sing this together. And Rabbi, do you know that on the holidays, on the high holidays, we have a certain melody that sort of, it sort of winds through the entire high holidays. It's mm. like it's... It, it's like we have not just bar mitzvah and b'nai mitzvah themes, we have music themes for the holidays. Themes. Did you know that? No. So we do, we have <laughs> these music themes. And this theme, which you heard in the Baruch Hu, is da 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 da. You're going to hear it over and over. And, and if you listen really close, you might hear it in this melody as I'm well. I'm going to listen. I didn't okay. know that from five years of rabbinical school. They well, left, you know, they didn't send you to cantorial school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it again, I think I heard it. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a really good question in there. The first sentence you said says, who is like you? But who is the song talking to? Well, hmm. in some ways, like who's like you, Cantor Nelson? Anyone? I hope not. Your kids are kind <laughs> of like you, right? Your family yeah. is kind of like you. Yeah, but I Same think i fairly unique. You're unique. I'm unique. <laughs> I'll tell you what, our temple is certainly unique. Yes. And we celebrate that everybody's super unique and different. That's but what this, we celebrate. This prayer is not talking about us only. When it says, who is like you, it's actually asking a question. It's called a rhetorical question where we all know the answer. It's saying, God, who is like you? And just like we said, there's some people that are kind of like us. There's nobody exactly like God. And so we say that, we ask that question. We know the answer. No one's like God. That's right. But we can all strive. We can all try to be really good, to care about people, love each other, have good values, say thank you, be polite, and also, of course, say I'm sorry and apologize when we're wrong. But on Rosh Hashanah, our individual families join together to become one huge Jewish family, not just Temple Israel, but the Jewish world. But also, some of us have people in our families that aren't Jewish. Mm. We're all one humanity. So we excitedly, and especially that is spelled wrong, remember the beginning of the, <laughs> look at that, of the first Jewish families. We remember Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca and Jacob, Leah and Rachel. And those are our ancestors. They are the elderly in our lives. They are our avot, our avot ve'imahot. That's right. And the stories of our, our, our avot Especially. and our ve'imahot are written in the Torah. They tell us about the good and bad choices our ancestors made. You know, we also make choices every day. And I think what's amazing, I'm going to go off script right now, is that in the Torah, all of our ancestors made good choices and bad choices. They, did. they weren't labeled bad people. But they definitely made choices, like Moses lost his temper all the time. He mm -hmm. hit the rock with his stick. He stuttered. That wasn't a bad choice, but he was not perfect. God had all of these things that was also questioning. Some people couldn't have babies in the Torah. Some people had marriages that started and ended. What about Noah? I mean, you know, he built this incredible ark, but, um, you know, there are people that say, well, why didn't he make sure that other people... Um, yeah. came on his ark, not just his own family. I mean, I'm grateful that all those animals were there by Tuesdays, Tuesdays, but Me there were too. a whole lot of people in his village. And the kangaroosies. <laughs> no, Thank God too. for them. I kangaroosies. love the kangaroosies. The fact is, though, guys, we are given a book in Judaism called the Torah that is full of people that make mistakes and that aren't perfect. And that's because humans make mistakes and aren't perfect. And it allows us to be exactly who we are and to say, you know what, that isn't how I wanted to act. I want to be better. I want to do things differently. And if everyone we read about who came before us was perfect, we might not feel we're allowed to do that. So what are you going to write in your book of life this year? What are you going to put in your Sefer HaChaim, this idea that, you know, it helps us remember that our daily choices and what we want to do are, are that we follow that. What are you going to put in your, what's like your one birthday wish for you? So I'm thinking to myself, so what do I want in my book of life this year? I want to feel a sense of gratitude not i want to feel a sense that i spend less time looking at the cup half empty hmm. and more time looking at my cup half full because i have a very full cup so that so if some of our listeners don't know what that means if you have a glass and it's full of a liquid some people will say wow i still have half of that to drink that's amazing and some people will say 
Oh, I already drank half of it. I only right, have I only a little have. bit left. All right, I always want to see it full, like my mom did, That's like nice. my beautiful mother did. That's nice. Well, my birthday wish for, for myself and for all of us this year is that we try to figure out how to get on the other side of COVID so that we can mm -hmm. come together again and touch and love and be close to one another. Because I think that we have all these huge, big feelings. And when we can't be close to one another, it's hard to express that. Yes, it is. So I hope that we all have some healing, <coughs> even not just COVID, healing in general. So we say, <laughs> Remember us again in this book of life. Inscribe us in this book of life. Thank God for this book of life. May we all be blessed in this book of life this year. You know, I think that there's so many things to say thank you for. One, we were written in this book of life this last year. All of us watching said this prayer last year and we're here. But there's always something to say thank you to God for. And the way we do that in Judaism is Baruch Atah Adonai, and then we fill in the sentence. So we're going to sing about that. Sounds wonderful. Baruch Atah Adonai, thank you, God. EFC. Baruch Atah Adonai, thank you, God. All right, here's a list that we're going to give you. Here we go. Thank you for this new year, Shana Tova to you. A happy, healthy new year. We'll hear the shofar too. That rhymed. Baruch Adonai. Thank you, God. Here we go. Baruch Adonai. Thank you, God. Favorite flavor of the day. Apples dipped in honey for a sweet new year. Brown hollow that has raisins to bring us all good cheer. Baruch Atah Adonai, thank you, God. Baruch Atah Adonai, thank you, God. Here we go. When we go to Tashlich, We'll cast our sins away. Thank you for this new year on this high holy day. Baruch Atah Adonai. Thank you, God. Look at that clip art. Baruch Atah Adonai. Thank you, God. One more verse. Yeah. Rosh Hashanah is written. The book is sealed on Yom Kippur. <laughs> Take care of one another, and your oh, year will, will be secure. <laughs> Baruch Atah Adonai. Thank you, God. Can you keep this riff going? I'm going to take some from the crowd. Baruch okay. Atah Adonai. Here we go, Brian. Thank you, God. Brian, what's something you're grateful for? Give me a word. I'll make it into a rhyme. Give it to me. I'm thankful for my friends that come from near and far. I'm thankful for all of them who meet me at school or guitar lessons. Oh, very close. Thank you, Baruch <laughs> A better choice. Thank God, I don't know I went wrong. Hi. Thank you, God. Hi. Mark and Marker next. Hold on. Get ready. Baruch Adonai. Thank you, God. Mark Nedlin, what are you grateful for? Wow. Thank you, Temple of Israel. You're super beautiful. You're oh, well, well beautiful is going to be a hard one. Thank you, Temple Israel, for all you give to me. Oh, yeah, that's the easy route. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but beautiful is okay, going to be difficult. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Um, uh, I love when we can gather, um, yes, and all of us will meet. Me and meet, uh, Cantor. And, all, and this will all be neat. No, we're rhyming with me. Right, me. And this will be a We will treat. all be free or treat. <laughs> treat. Baruch <laughs> Very close. Thank you, Okay, just don't quit our day jobs, literally. <laughs> this is our day job. Baruch Adonai. Thank, Thank you, God. God. 
Wow. Wow. Please rise. Oh, the tree wow. of life. Wow. Let's rise. Whoa. Slow down, Brian. Bring it back. There we go. We're not going to rise. You can dance and rise. Oh, this is a good dancing song. It's a good clapping song. Here we go. 4-4. Four, four. Shalom, shalom. It is a tree of life to them that hold fast to it. And all of its supporters are happy. It is a tree of life to them that hold fast to it. And all of its supporters are happy. Shalom, shalom. It is a tree. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. A tree of life. Shalom. Here we go in Hebrew, everyone, join us now. It's Chaim Hilam, the Mahazikim of the Tov Melcha, Meushar. It's Chaim Hilam, the Mahazikim of the Tov Melcha, Meushar. Clapping hands, ready, go. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. What is that word? I think it means peace. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. So much. It's a great word. It encompasses all of the best things about life, don't you think? Hello. Goodbye and peace. Right. Also, it's the root for shalem, complete. Ah, oh, yes, completeness. What does that even mean, completeness? You know, I think I'm complete. My good, my bad, my happy, sad, ugly, beautiful, creative, scientific. We're all complete, right? Yes. Yes, but when we really feel shalem is when we recognize that and we are, we are okay with who we are mm. at that moment. The problem I always find is that in order to feel complete, you really have to accept and love yourself. And mm. working on loving yourself can, for some people can be really tricky. So, you know, it's like sometimes kids will tell me that they got teased in school. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll say to them, I'll say, you know what? You are complete. Hmm. You are shalem. But the problem is there are other kids that don't feel complete. And they are the ones teasing you. Hmm. The ones that are complete don't have to tease. Hmm. Because they feel good about themselves already. If you have to put somebody else down, then you're not feeling good about yourself. You're not complete. Cantor, it's not just kids, though, that feel like that. Sometimes adults put oh. other adults down. Oh, yes. And sometimes we don't treat people very nicely. And no. the fact is, is that... God says we're created exactly how we're supposed to be. That's right. And even the Torah, when we were first given the Torah, there was one first set, you might not know this, of Ten Commandments that was set. God created it, and Moses brings it down to the Jewish people, and Moses loses his temper. Remember I said he loses his temper? He gets so mad, he smashes the tablets against the ground. Wow. And breaks the Torah, breaks the Ten <laughs> Commandments. And then he's like, you know what? I, that wasn't right. People make mistakes. The Jews made a mistake. They should have the Torah. So he goes back up to God. And he says, God, I, I messed up. He said, will you give the Jewish people a second chance? Will you give me a second chance? Will you make the Torah again? And God gives Moses a second set of the tablets. And Moses brings those tablets down and gives it to us. That's how we get the Torah. That's right. But the lesson there is actually hasn't happened yet. What happens next is that we build this gorgeous sanctuary, similar to Bertha Abbas sanctuary, but it was temporary. It could move. And both that complete set of the Torah and the broken tablets, they picked up all the pieces they put them together. They store them together so that we remember we're totally complete, beautiful. And you know what? There's parts of us that are broken and worth saving also. We're both. That's right. So we should be celebrated for all that. So when we open the ark, the Aron HaKodesh behind us, and we stand and there's that Torah, that's that gift from God. I want you to always remember, though, that that Torah, that gift from God, actually came to us twice. It's the first time we, took, we didn't take advantage of how incredible it was. And we didn't see that imperfect or perfect, it's our gift. So we honor the words that the Taurus teach us. And we learn, just at our parents and grandparents, that Adonai listens to our voice and we ask for a new year. And then we say what? The next bolded section. Adonai. Adonai, yeah. you are close to us like a parent who helps, loves, and protects us. But? But we know <laughs> you are above and beyond us, creator and ruler of the whole universe. So we're going to say to you together right now, God, Help, Help us, us discover, discover your God godly spark, spark within, within each, each of, us. of us. So I want you all to think about what's part of you that only is uniquely you. What part of you did God put in you that is like the best, most you thing out there? 
And if that wasn't out there, if you weren't out there, the world would miss that. So we talk about God right now as a parent, Avinu Malkeinu. Avinu Malkeinu Haneinu Vahaneinu Avinu Malkeinu Haneinu Vahaneinu Ki ein banu masi I so this is a song, but I think we're going to read it. Sounds good to me. I am sorry for what I did wrong, and I will try to be better no matter whatever. I'm sorry for what I did wrong. I'll try. I'll try to be the best that I can be. I'll try to, try to do what's right, <laughs> be the best I can. But I'm also sorry for it. You know, we're not going to fake this. What are, what are we sorry for? Oh. There's if, so much. Oh, if, you, if I, if we, we would make it all the way to, uh, to Yom Kippur if I had to start my list. This song would be a <laughs> mega mix 40 minutes long if we could apologize for everything we need a to. A lot of things. But the point is, guys, we have to apologize, right? It's not okay to just know you did something and not acknowledge that. That's true. And not only not acknowledge it to someone else, we have to acknowledge it in ourselves that we do stuff that's wrong. And the other thing that we have to acknowledge is to God, that when we do something wrong, we're not acting the best that we can. So really, when we hear the shofar blast, it's supposed to remind us, it's time to wake up, be uncomfortable with all the things that we've done that we're not happy about, get up and celebrate all the things we are happy about, and live each day knowing that this might be our last day. So. Why not have a great day? So let's make that shofar blast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Let's repeat. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Shivari. Shivari. Let's try it. Shivari. Next call. Tikiyah. Tikiyah. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Here we go. Teru. Ah, 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 and sometimes, thank you, I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Let's just go to Tara. I can't beat that. Tara. Shavari. Tikiya. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Ay, ay, ay. Happy, 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 happy new year. Cha, cha, cha. And happy, 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 happy new year. There is one blessing in the Torah that is the oldest, oldest blessing that the Jewish people ever had. And I used to think it was the Shema, because that was what we learned as kids, and we think it's the most important, and it is super important. But the oldest blessing in the Torah is the Aaronic prayer, the uh, blessing of Aaron, and this is the priestly blessing. And this is a prayer that not only the rabbis can, and cantors can say, this is a prayer 
that parents are supposed to say to all of you every Shabbat, that you could say to each other, that you could say to the congregation, you could say it to people you care about, people you don't even know yet. And it asks God to shine through us in everything that we do and ask God to protect us and to love us always. So we are going to join in this last blessing together as we come towards the end of our children's service. Sounds good. Yes. Adonai And we all say, can you hear our zone? Can you hear our zone? So can you hear our zone is may this be God's will. It's kind of like, oh yeah. And what Cantor just saying was, may God bless us and keep us. Now the next line. Now we say, can you hear that zone again? Can you hear that zone? May God shine through our faces and our actions as we interact with one another and keep people feeling not alone and together. Last time, here we go. Can you hear song? May God shine through us, and in that light, may we create a more complete world, a more complete sense of self, and a feeling of safety, and of love, and of peace. And we say, Amen. Amen. And so, as we now get to the end of our service, we wish you all the Shana Tova, the t- everything. The Shana Tova, Happy New Year. We wish you a sweet New Year, Metuka. We wish you one of happiness, of health, of gratitude. But we also wish you one where you know that we are always here for you. That Cantor and I, and Temple Israel, and all of your friends and family might not be sitting in the same room with you, but we are here for you. So hug the person next to you, tell them you love them. We love you and we wish you a happy new year. Happy new year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year.